Hello everyone. Welcome back to Next Step Immigration. We hope you're doing great today. You must carefully examine where you want to move if you want to immigrate to a new country in search of better job possibilities and a better lifestyle. In this video, we'll go over a few things that might help you choose between Australia and Canada as the best place to relocate. Australia and Canada both have employment options. When it comes to the labor market, both nations are pretty comparable to one another. Both have favorable employment prospects and a positive work environment. In Australia, you will be paid a little bit more than in Canada. Because Canada offers more jobs in demand for immigrant workers with the ability and skill set, it's simple to obtain a respectable career there that pays well. Cost of living. When compared side by side, Australia's cost of living is significantly higher than Canada's. According to a survey, Canada has a cost of living that is approximately 17% cheaper than Australia's. The Canadian government offers a variety of benefits for food and health security, as well as other programs to lessen the cost of living in the country. In Canada, which is substantially less expensive and more cost-effective than Australia, it only costs $1,650 to $2,500 per month to live better. Education Australia and Canada both provide free public education to students under the age of 18. Children can attend public schools, which are mostly free, in both countries. In Canada, children of immigrants under the age of 18 are eligible for free public education, in contrast to Australia, where only citizens and permanent residents are eligible. The cost of higher education is far lower in Canada than it is in Australia if we compare the two nations' university systems. If we compare Australian university tuition costs to those in other nations, they are rather high. Research claims that the annual cost of education in Canada ranges from $10,000 to $30,000, while the annual cost of tuition in Australia is projected to be between $15,000 and $33,000. Healthcare system. You are qualified for Canada's Medicare, a national health insurance program, if you are a permanent resident of the country. The Universal Public Health Insurance System in Canada covers all citizens' medical expenses. Every resident of Canada is entitled to free basic health care. The Australian health care system is exceedingly difficult for foreigners to navigate. You can only enroll in Medicare after moving to Australia permanently. In Australia, most people choose private health insurance in order to effortlessly pay for all costs associated with receiving specialized treatment. Australia has a high cost for private health insurance. Scope of getting citizenship. After three years of continuous residency in Canada as a permanent resident, you are then able to apply for Canadian citizenship. You must submit your tax records and take a citizenship exam when you seek citizenship in Canada. Similar to Canada, you must remain in Australia for four years and have been a permanent resident for 12 months in order to become an Australian citizen. When you apply for Australian citizenship, you must also provide evidence of your employment history. Although obtaining citizenship in both countries is fairly simple and similar, there are specific requirements in each country that must be met. Is living in Australia or Canada preferable? Canada is an open culture that admits immigrants and welcomes them. Canada's low cost of living gives you access to greater employment possibilities and allows you to save more money. Although Australia has fewer PR routes than Canada, it is nevertheless a fantastic country for immigration as well. That will be all in this video. Please share your opinions with us in the comments area. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and enable the notification bell to receive updates on job and immigration news. Thanks for watching. Good luck.